Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room, coming to you from the R Zone! It never ceases to amaze me how many of these Tiger Electronic handheld games there are based on big arcade games from the 80s. Here's another one. It's Electronic Shinobi. Wait, no, I'm sorry. It's Electronic Ninja Gaiden or Ninja Gaiden. They all kind of blend together after a while. The difference here, I guess, is that Electronic Shinobi is better than Electronic Ninja Gaiden Gaiden. It's true. This one is decidedly average for the crappy LCD handheld genre. It does have a few nice features though. For starters, it looks great. The Ninja Gaiden artwork is always classy, even when printed on a crappy Tiger LCD handheld game. What? Don't look so surprised. You can't very well enjoy a trip to the R Zone! Without a delicious can of Sex Panther. <laughs> How about that music? All right, this thing is powered by two AA batteries and it's the same shell and case that you'll find containing numerous Tiger electronic handheld games. There's a jump button, an attack and pick up things Button and, of course, a D-pad. These Tiger handhelds were cheap, so when your parents wouldn't buy you a Game Boy, maybe, just maybe, they would buy you a far less expensive, cheap, crappy handheld in the drugstore. Or Toys R Us or something. They used to have a whole lot of these things. And, for the most part, they're pretty awful. Some managed to be better than others, though. See my review of the Electronic Shinobi handheld. It's surprisingly good considering the limitations, and it was a somewhat clever interpretation of the Shinobi arcade game, except all the Tiger LCD games were pretty much stuck in the R zone. Which is good, so that I have something to play! Hey, at least it's not the Gamecom. Walk into my knife. Walk into my knife, come on. Bring it, that's right. Electronic Ninja Gaiden here feels more like the popular NES game than the Ninja Gaiden arcade machine. Where you run along the ground, fight enemies, jump in the air, collect power-ups, keep an eye out for that red light, which I think is your health power-up, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't have the instructions, but I'm assuming that when the designers figured out they could just put a red light into the game, they were like, yay, red light, woo! That's one step closer to the R zone, after all. You can just barely hear the game's audio beneath the roar of my button mashing, because that's what you do in this game. You mash buttons and attack bad guys while running right. Keep an eye out for the ladder so you can climb up, and then continue running right while being attacked by birds and enemy ninjas. Sounds fun? Sure, if you're stuck in the R zone. The R zone is the perfect place to Wang Chung tonight! It would seem that there's little power ups that you collect, which give you a spinning attack and ninja stars, and there's a pseudo end boss battle at the end of your moving right ladder climbing adventure which usually just results in the screen freezing because that's when you know it's time to hit start and move to the next level. That's right. You should have saved up and bought a Game Boy. One Game Boy is worth a thousand of these games, but you know, they're still kind of fun to review. They're budget games based on these big budget games. I love the artwork. I think they look really cool, especially if you have a whole bunch of them. Which I do thanks to Eric from Pasadena, California. Thank you for sending the giant box filled with tigers to the show. 
There's also some Mattel and Radio Shack handhelds in there. Tiger wasn't the only one in on the handheld video game craze, you know. They just, they just had a unique style, probably because their engineers were all stuck in the R zone. How does it make such terrible sounds? Why do the Tiger engineers hate ears? Walk into my waggling sword. So once again, thank you, Eric from California. It's Electronic Ninja Gaiden. Did you see I just picked up the health thing? Did you all enjoy the red light? I'm fairly certain they designed that red light for something else, like a different game, and then put it in here because it looked cool, and they had a whole bunch of them left over in inventory. What just happened? I don't know. <laughs> what a terrible game. I wouldn't buy this one unless you're specifically collecting Tiger Electronic handheld games. Climbing for dollars. Or unless you're planning to take that road trip directly into the R zone. You know, it's really not that bad. I mean, this game is terrible, but we have lots of other amazing things inside the R zone. Like eternal pain and suffering in a red blurry terror from hell. It's about as bad as it sounds, actually. Help. I'm almost out of sex, Panther. No. That's a very sad ending sound. If any of you happen to pass through the R zone on your way somewhere else, could you please bring me another six pack of Sex Panther? Or really anything will do. Except Zima. That stuff was terrible. New shirts and glassware now at ClassicGameRoom.com Don't miss Magnum Skywolf, also on Patreon. Welcome to the club! It's the Lord Carnage Club! Where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name IN A VOLCANO! Introducing... Michael Fernandez! Oh yeah! Michael Nelson! Lord Carnage approves. Jim... Moriarty! Sergio Matthias! Hergert! Jason from Kamloops! British Columbia! Busy! Busy. Busy. Signal! Signal! Signal. Alciver! Sean Zoltek. <laughs> I'm just kidding again! Sean Zoltek! Stephen Chucknick from... New Jersey! Landon Ellerby! He's the administrator of these credits. Philip Straubenmuller of Vienna, Austria! Woo! Jack Stavris from Australia! Home of Mad Max. Ohad Kane! Cue the thunder. Jeff Captain Dauntless. Briar! Rick DeBarros! Out of sight! Will, 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 Will. Kid Shuruken! Fatality! Chip! Sink Bale! That was too evil, wasn't it? Let's try that again. Chip! Sink Bale! See you next time on Classic Game Room. Thanks for watching.